What's up guys and thanks for checking out my tutorial on how to play PS4 games on the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive. If you've already installed PS4 Remote Play to your computer, I'll leave an annotation to skip ahead in the video, otherwise you're going to want to start right here. First thing you need to do is turn on your PS4 and scroll up to the settings. From here you need to go down to the Remote Play connection settings and make sure that this first box is enabled. If your PSN isn't linked to multiple PS4s or you don't have multiple PS4s in your household, then this next step doesn't really apply. But if you do, then you want to go back and go up to PlayStation Network and Account Management. Then go to Activate as your primary PS4. Mine's already activated, but obviously on here you just click Activate. This third step isn't required, but it will definitely be handy so you don't have to turn on your PS4 every time you want to use Remote Play or you want to use it with your VR headset. So just back out of here, still in the settings, scroll down to power save settings, set features available in rest mode, and make sure that these first two checkboxes are marked. Stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS4 from network. That handles everything from the PS4 side, so from here we're going to go to the PC. So the first thing you're going to want to download is PS4 Remote Play. So I'm just going to type that into Google right here. It should be the first option that shows up, but if not, I'll put a link in the description which will take you to the correct link. I don't think any VR headsets support Mac right now, but if you're watching this in the future and you have a Mac, obviously you can download the Mac client. For me, since I'm running Windows, I'm just going to download the Windows client. Open this up. Next. I accept. Next. Next. Install. And the installation is already done. So I'm going to finish with that. Now I'm going to open up PS4 Remote Play. I did turn on my PS4 by the way, but I'm not sure if you have to have it on at this point or if this will automatically do it. But either way, I have my PS4 controller connected to the USB and I'm plugging it into my computer now. Alright, and then we just click start and wait for it to connect. So as you can see we have the PS4 menu up and running. Everything is working exactly as it should and it's mirroring uh, what I have displayed on the TV perfectly from my PS4. So this is working good. Now I'm going to change some of the settings to make them a little bit more uh, readable and a little bit better in VR. So I'm going to X out of here and I'm going to reopen PS4 Remote Play. Checking for updates. Okay. On here I'm going to click Settings and this is going to depend on your internet connection. If you have a bad connection you might be forced to leave these down to low or standard. I think by default the frame rate is on standard and the resolution is on standard. I've gone ahead and bumped these up to 720 and high. So with that, with obviously VR headsets are going to stretch the resolution a bit since it's being magnified and that's going to make text a little bit harder to read. So the higher the resolution is that it's getting input from, the easier everything's going to be to see and the better the picture is going to look. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the remote play here and get our second application. So for that, I'm going to load up Steam and search for Virtual Desktop. Now, if you have a VR headset, chances are you probably already have this installed. And it does cost $14.99, but it is well worth it and certainly has more uses than just PS4 streaming, and I highly recommend it. So anyways, here it is here. I already have it in my library, but obviously you want to download this. And it works for both, both the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. After that, you launch both applications, choose whatever environment you want to be in in Virtual Desktop, and then full screen the PS4 Remote Play. After that, you can play any PS4 game that you own, downloaded or on disc, any PS4 apps that you have, such as Netflix or Hulu, and just generally anything that you can do on the PS4 and play it right with the PS4 controller on a massive screen in front of you. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Otherwise, subscribe for more VR videos, and thanks for watching. For those of you unaware, or maybe you've just been living under a rock, the Oculus Rift is a virtual reality device used primarily for gaming, but also for viewing 360 
How's it going guys? Today I figured I'd make a video showing off my PC gaming setup. 